Hey guys, it's Miss Robinson. Today we're going to read the story of Fish and Snail by Deborah Friedman. This is Miss Howell's book. She so kindly let us borrow today. Every day, Snail sits in one special spot, waiting for fish to come home with a story. Ahoy, Snail! Guess what? I found a new book. A new book? Does it have princesses or kittens? Will you tell me the story, fish? But I want to show you this time, snail. Fish, you know I don't want to go into other books. I like this book. Arg, snail, I promise we can come back here later. The new book has a whole ocean and a secret treasure and a pirate ship. A pirate ship? Fish? I don't like to play big dogs or monsters or pirates. I want to play kittens and sleep right here. But snail, sleeping cats are boring. Boring? Well, fish, if you think I'm so blah and your new book is so wow, then maybe you would rather live there with no snail. Well, maybe I would, and maybe I'll go be a pirate by myself and never come back. Well, fine. Fine, snail. Goodbye, the end. But that's not how this book is supposed to end. How can this be the story of fish and snail with no fish. 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 Sploosh. Fish, where are you? Snail. Snail, you came. You are very brave. Brave enough to be a pirate? Of course, or maybe. What? Fish. A kitty pirate. Together again, the friends set sail. Jolly pirate fish and first cat mate snail. And that's the story of fish and snail.